Hello and welcome to my little series trying to help people set up a Geo 704. Um, first thing is you notice I have done some modifications to it, but I decided after a couple months of playing with it that I had too many issues with backlash and other kinds of crap. So I decided to rip it apart and start seeing what's going on. So what I have here is, this is just the y-axis. I've taken off the table and everything. And you can see it's relatively smooth now. It does stick a little bit, but that's just, I'm actually going out of the travel when it does it. Now one of the main issues I had was trying to adjust these gibs is I noticed, and I will take out this one. They apparently did not manufacture it correctly. This guy over here. And you see here the ends here, there should be a little notch, uh, which I actually made this notch here. This is the gib for the uh, x-axis and it has a large notch in it and apparently that's where the screw is actually going to fit but the y did not so I just took a file and just made a small notch into it which actually makes it function because it was not functioning before okay I think this shows a little bit better uh, if you look here here is the insert for the x-axis and there is a large cut out here basically the head of the screw that the adjustment screw will push on this on the y-axis I made this little notch you see right here and what was going on before that was the screw would actually just ride over the top of it and jam it into the um, the actual ways here. Um, so what was going on is it was just if you had tightened it it would just jam it and not allow it to actually slide at all so I made that little just a little cut in there and then the head of the screw will just push on that and properly adjust it so now when I put it back together it actually works okay so I'm gonna put it back together now on the back side of this you notice all I did was just I just have the screw in so it basically makes it so the gib is in there about halfway pretty close to even uh, it doesn't be perfect on this one uh, it doesn't seem like after I play with it a little bit so just get it in there make sure it slides all the way back just push it with the screwdriver a little bit and bring it forward a little simpler and we'll just get this started here and all you're going to do is just tighten it to where you're going to get it so it's just nice and snug and then just tighten it a little bit there and just see how smooth it goes uh, you're going to go just up until it's you want it nice and snug but you don't want it to drag or do anything because you don't want to warp that uh, piece there, the gib will actually just flex and start jamming into the middle of it. So That's nice and tight there, so I'm just going to check. And that's fairly smooth, I just want to make sure I don't have any... I got a little bit of rocking, I can feel a little bit, but it's actually past the travel. So I go into the regular travel, I'm still a little bit loose, so... Looks like it was just stuck on the edge there. So now, nice and smooth. And there you go. Everything's done in there. It's nice and smooth. You're just going to give it a little turn there. Smaller one. Kind of not an ideal camera setup. And I'll just give the back screw just a little snug just to make sure it's locked into place. Yeah, looks like that over tightened it. Check the back again. 
again. Never mind, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just gotta start putting the rest of it back together.